In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A very warm welcome to this Mass. This is the 11th anniversary of my being ordained priest. So we offer this Mass for all those who are preparing to be ordained priest, or deacon, or bishop at this time. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, the king of Israel, as follows. Amos is plotting against you in the heart of the house of Israel. The country can no longer tolerate what he keeps saying. For this is what he says. Jeroboam is going to die by the sword and Israel go into exile far from its country. To Amos, Amaziah said, go away, seer. Get back to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there. Do your prophesying there. We want no more prophesying in Bethel. This is the royal sanctuary, the national temple. I was no prophet. Neither did I belong to any of the brotherhoods of prophets, Amos replied to Amaziah. I was a shepherd and looked after the sycamores. But it was the Lord who took me from herding the flock and the Lord who said, go, prophesy to my people Israel. So listen to the word of the Lord. You say, do not prophesy against Israel, utter no oracles against the house of Isaac. Very well, this is what the Lord says. Your wife will be forced to go onto the streets. Your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land be parceled out by measuring line and you yourself die on unclean soil, and Israel will go into exile far distant from its own land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, the decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than the honey, than honey from the comb. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. Alleluia, alleluia. God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself and he has entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus got in the boat, crossed the water and came to his own town. Then some people appeared, bringing him a paralytic stretched out on a bed. Seeing their faith, 
Jesus said to the paralytic, Courage, my child, your sins are forgiven. And at this, some scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Knowing what was in their minds, Jesus said, Why do you have such wicked thoughts in your hearts? Now, which of these is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, Get up and pick up your bed and go off home. And the man got up and went home. A feeling of awe came over the crowd when they saw this, and they praised God for giving such power to men. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. We pray for the life of the church throughout the world. We pray for this deanery, for Trevor, our bishop, and for Tim, our dean. We pray for all those preparing for ordination at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, pray for peace, justice, and reconciliation among all peoples and nations. We pray for this bailiwick, for Queen Elizabeth, our Lieutenant Governor, our bailiff, and for the state of deliberation. We pray for all parts of the world affected by the coronavirus, praying for an end to this virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community, we pray for our parish, for all those who live and work within it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, suffering, or in any kind of need at this time. Among them praying especially for Tony Hamill, Michelle Cairns, Barry Linacle, Hilary Brown, Josh Barbe, Julia Bentley, Father John Widows, Janet LePage, David and Lynn LaPelle, Molly Lagaff, Rosie Bradshaw, and Val Mollet, and any others we know who are in need at this time. Lord, in your mercy. We remember those who have passed from this life, those we love but see no more, those who have died suddenly or unprepared, those who have died recently, and those whose years mind us at this time among them Marlene Delahaye, Ray Lowe, John Collis, Ernest Maye, Ronald Serras, Biddy Brown, Denise Taylor, and Maureen Pedder. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, that light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Uniting our prayers with a whole company of heaven, we pray, merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. 
By your will they were created and have their being. From the primal elements you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again you called us to return. Through prophets and sages you revealed your righteous law. And in the fullness of time you sent your only son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us, by his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink this, do this for the remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you this sacrifice of thanksgiving, we celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this holy communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great high priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the whole church gives honour, glory and worship from generation to generation. Amen. And now, as our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.